welcome to the mathematics of my channel in this video we are going to solve this interesting integral well uh, how to begin okay uh, first uh, I'm going to consider integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus x square cosine of x dx plus i times integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus x square sine of x dx then uh, we know we can write 0 to infinity e to the minus x square is a common factor so e to the minus x square times cosine of x plus i times sine of x dx then uh, here integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus i x square times cosine of x plus i, i times sine of x we know e to the i times x dx okay then uh, still we can simplify uh, we can take uh, e to the minus uh, x square uh, minus i times x ah, here sorry uh, here only minus x square uh, here minus x square okay now uh, here e to the minus x square minus i times x so minus minus plus i times x okay then uh, as a next step we can write this is also equal to e to the minus uh, i'm going to write as a perfect square x minus i over 2 perfect square then uh, if we simplify x square uh, minus 2 times uh, product of these two terms so 2 get cancelled and minus i x and here we have uh, plus i square over 4 i square we know minus uh, 1 over 4 uh, so uh, we should subtract so minus 1 over 4 but here we have again uh, minus sign so we should write minus 1 over 4 dx okay then um, here now we have e to the minus times this term and minus 1 over 4 so we can write e to the minus 1 over 4 as a common factor and it's a constant so outside of the integral sign so we can write uh, it okay e to the minus 1 over 4 integral from 0 to infinity here e to the minus x minus i over 2 square dx then i am going to take a substitution so uh, x minus i over 2 is equal to t then differentiate dx is equal to dt so we can write here e to the minus 1 over 4 integral from now uh, x approaches to 0 x approaches to 0 t approaches to minus i over 2 x approaches to uh, infinity we know t also approaches to infinity then here e to the minus x minus i over 2 we know t so e to the minus t square dx is equal to dt well uh, then what can we do mm, i think uh, this integral familiar with us uh, because we know the definition of error function er of, of c so uh, we can write square root of pi over 2 times erf of c is equal to uh, integral from 0 to c e to the minus t square dt also we can calculate uh, integral from p to q integral from p to q e to the minus x square dx is equal to a square root of y over 2 square root of y over 2 times e r f of q minus e r f of p okay then uh, here our integral so we can write uh, this is also equal to here e to the minus 1 over 4 now square root of pi over 2 here uh, 
error function of now q we know upper limit uh, infinity erf of infinity minus erf of minus i over 2 so here minus i over 2 okay then uh, now we can write here square root of pi over 2 times here it's the 1 over 4 so fourth root of e now erf of infinity we know 1 uh, minus now here erf of minus i over 2 so we know uh, this relation erf of uh, i sorry oh, e erf of i x is equal to i times erf i of x this is we know imaginary error function erf i of x imaginary error function therefore we can write now uh, this is equal to i times i times erf i imaginary error function of minus 1 over 2 okay then uh, again we can write uh, now we can multiply here yeah, 1 times this part so the square root of pi over 2 times 4th root of e uh, then minus and here we have imaginary error function of minus 1 half so we can write a minus sign here so uh, plus square root of pi over 2 times 4th root of e times imaginary error function of 1 half uh, sorry here we have i so i times okay then uh, here we have a complex number and here we have also a complex number so uh, if we compare real part here we have uh, integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus x square cosine of x dx is equal to the square root of pi over 2 times both root of e uh, okay this is the answer of uh, this integral but uh, our question here e to the minus x cos sine x so we know imaginary part so we can write integral from 0 to infinity e to the minus x square sine of x dx is equal to uh, here we have square root of pi times imaginary error function of one half over two times fourth root of e okay this is the answer of this integral if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching